Okay, back again. We are going to have a look at installing the Nova 3D software for the Elfin 3D resin printer. So we've come to nova3dprinter.com and we are going to go to support and software. PC 64 bit download. Okay, and we'll save that. 52 meg. Hmm, it's a pretty slow download. God, it's a painfully slow download. <laughs> God. Okay, well I wasn't expecting that, so I've uh, even turned off the uh, VPN so we get the full benefit of our uh, ultra-fast broadband, but that is not the, the problem. That is a issue <laughs> with the server that's sending this file down. Uh, okay, I guess we might as well have a look at the download instructions whilst that's messing around. 15 pages really. Okay, this is a software user guide. Okay, this looks pretty good. I will save that I think uh, for future use. It's talking about the slice, print control, 3D views. There's other software available, but this is the one they include. Yeah, all looks good. They've done a pretty good job in uh, translating this into English. Uh, the manual, the user manual's got very, very few mistakes. Which is nice to see as somebody's made the effort to do a good job. And that all looks pretty straightforward. Now I'm beginning to wish I'd downloaded the uh, software beforehand um, because that is painfully slow. But I wanted you to see exactly <laughs> what we've got to go through to, uh, to get this. Now it's interesting they do do a 32-bit version but the 32-bit version can only handle a model size uh, of around 300 megabytes. Now I don't know what size the models are um, but uh, clearly there's a limit on 32-bit versions of Windows but I can't imagine there's too many people with 32-bit versions anymore. So we've got a common problem page. Oh, lots of uh, videos there. Alfin platform leveling, replacement FEP film, LCD replacement. I also noticed that all these parts are available through Amazon. Although, strangely, the actual machine itself is uh, suddenly out of uh, stock. So. Um, yeah, it was uh, 329, I recall, with the three green, uh, transparent green resin. Any small bottle, it's 250 mils, uh, but it should make a couple of models, hopefully, at least. I really have no experience with these things, and I don't know how much resin uh, is going to be used. I guess I should have downloaded this. I had no idea it was going to be so slow. Let's have a little look at the materials. Storage, third party resins, okay. Toxicity, so a whole range of uh, Anova 3D materials. The one we are have bought is the Nova Stan resin. Okay, 
Okay, we have some figures here for yeah, appearance, viscosity, density, hardness, uh, tensile strength, that's uh, water absorption. Surprised there's not a. I'm sure there's more than grey, white, black, and blue. I'm pretty certain I bought black and a dark grey, so uh, why that's not showing in there. Designs of animated animation toys, industrial parts, handicraft, and consumer parts. That's exactly what we need. Uh, we are still downloading. One minute 39 left. That's why we have some special rigid plastics, oh sorry, resins. So once you've actually made the model, it has to be hardened and uh, you need to take it out and either place it in sunlight uh, for a few minutes or in my case I've got a rotating turntable and a UV light which will have a look at all these in another video, uh, but you have to uh, clean off all of the uh, liquid resin first, so some of it will drip off as you uh, finish the process and then you've got to wash it all off uh, with isopropyl alcohol and that is what that was uh, for. In my case we're going to use a uh, small container full of IPA and uh, we will swirl the part around in that to get it all uh, cleaned uh, and then UV treated. And then everything else has got to be cleaned off with IPA. It's uh, certainly a bit fiddly and messy. Uh, one thing I would say is you do need to wear gloves and I would highly and strongly advise wearing eye protection. I've got uh, goggles to go over my glasses. Uh, you do not want anything like this uh, on you, or you certainly don't want it in your eyes. <laughs> okay, so we are nearly finished, and we are finished now, so we'll shut that down. Okay, let me just shut that a second, and we'll go and find that file. Okay, just going to drag it onto this screen. Something I prefer to do is go to Properties, Unblock, and OK, and then right click and run as administrator. That tends to uh, solve any little issues with installation problems. And why does it keep putting it on that monitor? Now the printer is on and I'm hoping that we will be able to find it via the software connected on the same network. So we will see. Hopefully I don't have to register or anything stupid. Okay, we've got this popped up now. Bonjour Print Services Installer. I'm pretty sure I've installed that in the past. Accept the agreement and next and install. Is quite slow to process. There we go, that's better. Just click finish and we are done. Run Nova Maker. Okay, now will this maximize correctly or are we going to end up with a. Oh, it does, that's nice. Okay, what have we got? 
update, exit about. Oops, I don't know how you find your printer. No, no idea. Oops, God's sake. I think it's already found it actually. Yeah, it does look like it found that on the. Yeah, in fact, it has. There you go, there's the IP address. And uh, model number, current version, that's 1.2.0. Let's see if there is a new version. No idea why we've got this Chinese bit there, it doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, I don't know what the hell that means. That's disappointing to have buttons that we uh, really have no idea uh, what they're doing. Um, the user manual is all in English and uh, translated perfectly, but that is uh, really not very helpful. Surprised to see that actually, that's disappointing. Even there's a mistake, spelling cancel, spell C-L-E at the end. <laughs> That's uh, just daft. So, printables, we have a Nova 3D test. That's the size, oh, quite large. Yeah, name Octopus. Okay, that's a way of looking for stuff. Oh, no, 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 printing. Uh, how do you cancel that? Yes, cancel. It's lowering the print head down, <laughs> but I don't want it to do anything. It's trying to cancel that, but it's not doing it. And uh, I can't press and hold the button on the front to turn it off either. So how do you make a mistake and cancel it? Well, that is stupid as well. I've had to pull the cable out the back. It says cancelling here, but it's not actually doing anything. Wow. Start it up again, the printer that is. Mm, not impressed with that. It's now stuck on cancelling. No files are being printed. And the printer's firing up. So, cancelling. Uh, didn't seem to do anything very much. I thought there would be a image of... Uh... No, it's doing it again. Jesus, let's stop that. Oh, now it says printing. I want it paused. Stop. Sure, yes. Very slow, and that print head continues to travel down. Hmm. <laughs> Cancelled. Okay, done. So we're obviously not going to see a uh, image on screen of what's being printed, or at least certainly not on uh, this software. Page, so yeah, I'm not sure I like this software very much. Let's go back to that. Drag your model file and drop it here. Okay, well, maybe we can see it. None of these are clickable yet. Even when you hover over these, they don't tell you anything. That's obviously zoom in, zoom out. 
notes. Oh, you can just okay. Move around. Click to set up right at the bottom here. Okay. Reference configuration. Don't know what that means. Printer model. Well, we haven't got the Beno. We have the Elfin or the Elfin 2 Pro. Oh God. So we've got an Elfin, an Elfin 2, or an Elfin 2 Pro. I have no idea which one we've got. I guess it's the Elfin standard one. I know there is an Elfin 2 coming out. I didn't know there was an Elfin Pro. So I guess we've got the Elfin. Uh, exposure time, layer height, there's the resin type. So in our case we'll be using that Nova Stan. Let's see the exposure times change depending on what resin you have chosen, so that's good. Lifting speed, I assume you leave these all in the standard settings until you get a little bit more experience. Drag your model file and drop it here. Okay, well how can we do that? Come on, I don't want it printing, I just want to be able to see it. We're cancelling that hopefully. And it's still not showing there. Yeah, sorry guys, that didn't quite go as planned. I thought this was going to be a hell of a lot easier than that, but uh, I'll work it out and we'll uh, we'll do another video. Okay, geez, finally just went off to uh, Thingiverse.com and downloaded a uh, printed part that I can use on the uh, other printer, the Ender 3 Pro, when it's actually built, and uh, that is an STL file, I think. Uh, so we should be able to now go to Open and uh, desktop and now we've got an STL file <laughs> so let's double click that and uh, oh well there we go okay many vertical planes detected automatically rotate some angle to achieve better printing results uh, a better printing effect yeah sure you go for it mm, really that's it is it now we can now spin this around Okay. Hmm. So hit on the home button. Don't think you can see this unfortunately, it's just up there, you see the controls, I just want to show it on the screen. So we can lift it up and so we can zoom in and out. Got a backwards arrow, I don't know what that does, oh that puts it back to wherever it is. Now that looks like it's hanging off, I assume that is the print surface so it's hanging off of that that can't be right can it so it looks to me like anything is red is not being printed that's what's happening isn't it so we really need to spin that round how do you do that Okay, rotate current to lowest, yeah. scale, smooth, okay, you can't, that's on the X, that's Y, and this is Z, okay. <laughs> Let's go down to zero and put on the plate, there's an option. Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. 
Auto layout. That seems to do the trick. Let's have a little look. So that is the right view. That is the left view. This is the front view. And this is the top view. Okay. And then we've got the home position. Okay. I'm getting it. Now that looks like it is on the print plate. Yeah, so we've got on the left here, let me see if I can go across, you see that we've got uh, move, scale, rotate, the sub-menu, we have flip, which obviously we're not going to be doing, we have copy, oh there's another one, yeah, don't want that, how do we get rid of that, don't know, can we right click on it, no that doesn't do anything. Information that was the one I used the auto layout. Obviously, we can't print all of that. I've literally no idea how you get rid of that. Let's cancel that and perhaps we cancel again. Oh, I see. This is like going backwards. They they call it cancel, which it really isn't, is it? It's back a stage. If I do that a couple more times, we should be getting rid of that. Maybe not. You know what? Sod it. Let's just get out of that. Oh, we've lost the whole program now. Bollocks. <laughs> ah, dear. Nova Maker. Let's run that. Wrong screen. And we will open the file and we will find it under desktop. There it is. Any vertical displays yet. Yeah. And then we will go over here to auto layout and uh, oh come on. We need to look around. See that is not in the right place. Oh, it's funny, it did it earlier, perfectly okay. But now, it is not. So we can rotate it, except we don't want to do that. That's the wrong rotation. We want uh, this one, but not so much. There we go. Oops, too much. There we go, so that is now on the plate. And then we can click off of that. Now down the bottom here, we've got click to set up. Don't know whether I can tilt this down. There we go, Paul. Volume, 37.63 millilitres. Layer, don't know what that does. Estimate printing time, that doesn't seem to do anything either. But it's definitely on the plate. And that all looks good. So I guess you could now go ahead and uh, print that. Uh, we've got support uh, option there. You can add manually oh, there's a whole load of options there's uh, different heights you can add support there again I assume you can take that away by going cancel yes you can so that's control Z but auto support oh, 
course this one might not actually need any so Don't know what the difference between auto support and auto support array is. I suppose you just have to print this out. It certainly has added something now. Don't know whether it's uh, actually required. Let's cancel that. Oops. That no, seems to be cancelling. Oh god, it's cancelling supports one at a time. <laughs> delete all supports, oh thank god for that. Are you sure you want to delete all of them? <laughs> yes. Oh dear. That one is slice. I don't know what that's going to do. Please configure parameters by first clicking the model button below. Model button below what? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, it's down here, I guess. So oh, there we go. Okay, so again, this has not saved the printer that I've got. I think it's the Elfin. We are going to select the Nova Stan and click OK. Okay, now it is giving us some more information, and uh, just going to tilt that down. We have. My configuration, Elfin, 0.035mm layers, 37.62mm, we've got 527 layers and the estimated printing time is 2 hours and 13 minutes. So, um, okay, well that's uh, interesting. Yeah. Let's go back to there, so you have to click it there and then go into config. So if that is not highlighted, okay, oh, we can still go in there. Yeah. Uh, looks like we can set up configurations for every print that we do, so we can rename this to whatever. So I could call it the part name. You know, if you were printing a lot of parts all the same, I guess you would fine tune every single one and save your own configuration for that uh, file so that's interesting reference configuration yeah don't know well we can change the height down to 0 0.05 i wonder how long that would take to print Okay, now the printing is an hour and 39. I wonder why that's less. I thought you were uh, increasing the time. Printer model 70 by 130 by 150. I assume that's what we've got. Let's try the others. Elfin 2, same size. Elfin Pro, uh, different size. So the Elfin 2 Pro is different size. 65, 116, 150, 70, 130, 150 for the one I've got, I believe. So a little bit more reading uh, to do on all of this and then we can... What's the lowest figure? So the lowest figure is 0 0.010. And now the printing is obviously the same volume, but there's 1844 layers, and the actual print time is going to be eight and a quarter hours. <laughs> so I wonder if that gives you a very fine finish, or whether that would uh, doesn't really make a lot of difference. Yeah, well, it's really interesting. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I'm going to leave it there. It was just an idea, really, to uh, 
show you the software. I should have downloaded a model in the first place. I also should have uh, downloaded the software, but I really didn't think it was going to take that long. So auto layout is now doing that. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so really that was just supposed to be a quick look at the uh, Novamaker software 64-bit. This is the version 2.4.20, and uh, there are other software, there's CAD software, all sorts. <coughs> Excuse me. There's all sorts of software required if you're going to be designing this sort of thing yourself, but there's an awful lot of pre-designed stuff out there already. So uh, yeah, that's it. Quick look at the software.